Yeah, that is right there. Pretty crazy. Morning. Let's make a sandwich. Coffee. Got my uh, funky pour over set up. Black Rifle Coffee Company, just black. All right. It smells like coffee. It does smell good. We'll come back to that. First spot of the morning. I say morning, but it's already like 11 o'clock, I think. Just a nice slow day. Got up, made breakfast, coffee, OJ, had a full course. And it's been really nice. After 16 miles yesterday, I needed a slow start today. But, oh, two, three winter rubs right there, actually. It's a little warm out. And uh, I'm a little preoccupied on the pile of snow in front of me. That's where it was when I saw it. Like right behind the, the tree, kind of, but not really. I'm looking at the snow going, man, I'd really love to have a little cool down, chill off, and ant right in front of me. Pretty good size one. I just stood up over here and glassed down into the cut. Good looking antler. Uh, I'd call it a big double. There's not enough of a point on that front to count it. So you got two five points. Probably just a three or a four year old. Maintained some great color on the back there, but that's a solid, solid antler. Strap it up. That is numero uno on the day. Usually when I have a big day, I, uh, I pull a big old dud the next day. Like two or one or a tiny antler the next day. So let's, uh, let's have this be the start of a, a comeback. I think we might be to him now. Might be at it. That was a hell of a sentence. That will confirm my theory. We got a little one right here. It's old. Two on the day. We just got into this thing too. Once again, the camera's in a tree. Um, two little rabbit turds on him. Funny little four-pointer. Ian, why'd you put the camera in a tree? Set up a tripod to pick up a little chalky four-pointer. Because I love it, that's why. There's just, I don't know. I pick these up all day for a chance at a brown. It's okay. Some of these deserve to come out of the woods. We'll leave three, four pieces behind for the squirrels. Number two on the day. Practically would have stepped on it. I'm looking over here in the trees like, man, I don't want to miss one. Like, what if somebody's been here? Winter rub back there. Probably a three-year-old in front of me. Oh. Bingo, number three on the day. Nice little double. Pick him up. Nice left side. Been here a couple years. Definitely a couple. The white, the back's all bleached out too. I wonder if it got flipped over at some point. Good one. Little tree six pointer. I like how some of these, the fronts go almost behind the dagger. It's kind of cool. Yep, a little fumage. Yep, nice. Tree, like a tree on the day. Let's keep rolling. This is a good area, I think. Really I'm curious to see what some of these little pockets hold. Hickory smoked. I think I already had this on the main trip, but I can't remember. 3 2 out of 10. Gross. Only 110 calories and 18 grams of protein in this pack. What I need right now is like 500 calories. It's 
just down here. Wondering if I should hit skids down here or come up and check this little opening. And I looked, I was like, man, that thing's a weird color. I'll get it when I pop through. And I step over here. You can just barely see her. Nice little one. Maybe it's this moose's year before. Maybe. Pretty similar. See if we can't pack them all up on the backpack. I had just packed up the backpack. Not even two, three minutes ago. We have another one right here. Super weird looking bugger. You'd think he's a a big elk or something. What is that thing? Man, that's a funny looking shed. I might have to recolor that one. He's pretty cool. Super funky one. This one might have to stay in my collection actually. Pretty sweet. What in the world? Isn't that a cool moose? Look at that. Just a big club on the end. I think we might just be carrying this one for a little bit. How cool is that? He's got no curve, really. That is sweet. That's a sweet antler. That's pretty cool. See another one right there, and he's got four on his front, but he's not big. It's pretty cool. Um, I told myself I was going to carry the uh, funky bunch until uh, until I found another. Got him right there. Pretty sweet. This is the view I got. Yeah, that would have been a good one. Pretty sweet shed. Um, big forefront, two, three, maybe five, six, nine on the back. But let's see how big he is. Oh. You can definitely tell that at some point this thing got flipped over. Whether he got dropped by a bear or something, but the backside has good color, and then. The front is all bleached out, but those big fronts, man. I was asking Derek about the New Brunswick bulls having big fronts, but he didn't have much to say. He said the average is a two point, but I've been pretty lucky finding twos and ups. Thought he'd be a stander, but in the right house he would. Pack it on up and uh we gotta figure our way through this cut a little bit more and see if we can't pick up another couple. And we're gonna work down towards that cut again and, and do another loop, see what we can't find. What a day. We have another spot to hit before we boogie out of this road. And we have a little bit of a drive up to where we're camping. Is that a brownie? Don't tell me that's a brownie. No way. And he's super unique. Oh, please be brown. It looks brown from here. I literally just did my whole filming segment right there. And I just step here, look at that thing shining. You can just see points. Come on, please be brown. Yes, it is. No, it's not. What is it? Yeah, it is. It's got blood on it. Oh, man, look at that. It's not a white tail, is it? Holy smokes. I'm going to leave this up to the comments about what he is. But I just know he's never leaving my collection. 
big piece of blood right on it. What a super cool antler. Oh my gosh. It's 544. Oh man. What if it's a white tail? I think he's a moose. He might go that way. Yeah, it's probably a moose. But I'm going to hold him like that just to piss you guys off. What a super cool antler to be winding down the day on. I got a brownie today. I had five yesterday. There's hair all over him too. Man, a little nub point on the bottom, double beamed. Wow. Just like that, right off the side of the head. Pretty crazy. That's such a super cool base too. Almost looks, yeah, he's still got velvet on the bottom. This one is riding in the front seat and it is being very well taken care of. I might even wrap some like bubble stuff I've got around that just so that stuff doesn't come off. Come on. Big ol' four. That's so cool. These are the kind that get left behind when uh, when I walk through. I got a, a knack for going by the small ones and I just seen weird glowing gold things in the corner of my eye and man, I'm just naturally scanning the sides of trails too. And we literally just did a big film thing 20 feet that way for that big four point front and another four. Sweet. I'm gonna carry this one for a little bit. We're gonna keep walking. What a day. Seven. Seven antlers and a brownie. Yes! Oh, I love character. We got another one. Oldie. Fine with me, just working this thick stuff here. Just coming up a trail and I've seen it. Nice. Sweet. Maybe he matches one of the others we got. This is number eight on the day. Currently we probably have three antlers within 40 yards or something. So we got something good going on here. So I don't want to burn it out and not get the most out of this spot. Like why? leave antlers to go find more so from me to the truck dead straight line about 400 yards that is 400 that away and i'm trying to go that way but you know what i think i'm gonna bring the backpack anyways so that is number eight big five side It is so cool stacking up antlers. I don't know what about it. Crazy. And we'll have to see when we get back to the truck. I'll take them all apart and see if there's any matches. But we got a bunch about this size. Sweet. It's getting hard to hold this bag up, especially when we walk 30 yards and pick up the match. Oh, it's so funny right in the little nooks, that's what it is. I think we might have found a little pocket that people missed. There's a rub just in front of me that I checked earlier. I came over from those ones, checked it, and then walked down, found that big four, I think. We might walk out the rest of this trail, but let's pick this one up. It'd be funny to walk 30, 30, 40 yards and pick up the match. I would assume it is. I put it on the backpack and looked at all the other lefts that I had on there and went, yep, it's probably still out there. I'd say so, and now it's in my hands. Oh, that's so funny. A little four and a five side. It's definitely him. 
Sweet. Just getting into them. It's uh, six o'clock. That is numero nine. Nine or eight or nine. Seven, eight, nine, I think. Yeah. Right under a rub. See that? Right under a double rub. Come on. Woo! Could have sworn that was one right there too. Right under a double rub. So however old that rub is, there's the antler. Oh, there's another one right there. Come on. Look at that. Different moose. Oh, that's so funny. I'm gonna take the GoPro and clip it in my hat and give you guys a look at how close that one is right there too. It's right there. Pretty crazy. So, with that in mind, we have number 10 right here, and number 11 right there. Make sure I hold them the other way. This is match set, right? Nah, I don't think so. It's fun nonetheless. Somebody's gonna be, oh, there's so many white antlers. Because it's fun. I'm like a child. If you put something constant in front of them, they'll just, uh, they just kind of zone out and you don't have to deal with them anymore. But sweet little left and right, both right here in the thicket. And I just turned the GoPro on up there so you'll kind of see my reaction when I seen the tips of this one under the rub. So I see the two rubs first. I'm like, man, those are a couple years old. And then I look down, there's tips under it, of course. Let's see if we can strap them on. I got bungees with me for a reason. Still wish I had a scale for it. I got my hat looking like a weirdo. I've washed my face with um, a mix of sweat and snow a couple times in the last few minutes. Another one. I don't know what that makes this on the day. It might be 12 or something crazy, but about the same size. Another right side. You can see it down there. Let's go take a look. Snap an ATL. Probably five years old. About the same size as the rest of the bulls in here, except for that big fronted one. Well, five point. He's just gonna get. Set up right there. Then we're on the move. Pop this bag apart and take a look at all these. So you have one on top of the truck from earlier today. I'd say that was, that's pretty good. The one little cut. A lot of small ones, but that is a-okay. Some good character in there with the brownie and the club. Good stuff. And a match set. Would have made my whole season to match that thing up, though.
it. Dinner's started. Um, thanks for watching. That was a slow start to the day, but we uh, we came out on top for sure. Blown away by this brown. Definitely in my collection forever. Hopefully the hair and velvet stay on it. It's so cool. Um, and then we have the other uh, five over here too from yesterday. Hopefully we can have anything like today or yesterday, tomorrow with Derek. He's going to meet me here tomorrow. Um, we've pre-organized his spot. I really have nothing else to say. It's just been amazing so far. And uh, been putting a stack of antlers on the truck, that's for sure. We might start a small fire to keep these bugs away. Jesus. Smoking out my bedroom. Thanks for watching. 12 sheds in a day, one brownie. Can't beat it. At least I did yesterday, but no big deal. Live more, go beyond. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Beyond the Boundaries YouTube channel and hit that bell to get notifications when new videos are posted. Check out our Facebook and Instagram pages for new updates and giveaways and our merch that's live at livemoregobeyond.com.